Every man has the right to decide his own destiny. What's happening, world? Name's Raheem Flowers. And if you're familiar with that song, that's a song by Bob Marley. It's named Zimbabwe. And that goes along with the premise of what I'm about to say in the video about Kanye's statement about slavery being a choice and sounding like a choice. And to be honest with you, I agree with him because there are timestamps in history where there were brigades and there were figures who went against that and eventually freed themselves. We could talk about Nat Turner, we can talk about Harriet Tubman, and we can even talk about the likes of a white man such as John Brown who helped liberate black slaves. In addition to that, there is a man by the name of Robert Smalls who, who escaped from slavery and he even ended up becoming a congressman and won. Yup. So for all them share butter Twitter, black Twitter, these woke niggas, this is what I got to say to you. In the words of Bob Marley, the one, the one that you all love. Soon we'll find out who is the real revolutionary. Fuck you mean. Because when the chips are down, y'all ain't about shit. You all say, oh, but how could, how could you say that slavery was a choice? Well, here's the thing. You can make that argument that people were tricked into slavery. Yes. And, you know, that, that is an argument could be made. And then, on the other side, you had black Africans who sold out slaves to white people for a bunch of trinkets. Yes. And then you even had the Moors who aligned themselves with white people. Yup. That's why people are talking about Libya right now and, and the Arab slave trade. Interestingly enough, I mean... People such as myself, such as Brother Kel, and several others were referred to as coons for that, ironically. But now everybody's like, free all the slaves from Libya. We got to stop the slavery. Stop the Arab slave trade. But I'm like, hold on, wait a minute. But that's not the only thing I want to talk about. Okay, a lot of people's argument is, well, the slaves, they had nothing to fight for. Like, like, like say when you reference the Haitian revolution when they freed themselves and they knew they weren't going despite that they were that uh haiti is such a small country it's a small island excuse me but they and they went against the french they went against a powerful nation and still was victorious how is it that you have all these slaves here in in the americas but they didn't do the same thing they caved in. And people's argument is, well, the Haitians have more of an identity of self and they were connected to the roots. Hold on, wait a minute. Didn't a lot of black people like Waka Flocka concede to being indigenous, melanated people in this land? And not all black people came from Africa? So if that's your argument, then how can you sit here and say that we had uh, the melanated people here in the Americas had nothing to fight for? when they had their own identity they were indigenous people to this land so they did have something to fight for y'all were just saying that shit out of fear that's all that trickles down to but there's no loyalty there's no solidarity in the majority of black people and i'm talking about the whole black diaspora i'm not just narrowing it down to black americans or black caribbeans afro-caribbeans or afro-latinos and even Africans, I'm saying the whole entire spectrum diaspora, you feel me? Shoot. And even when I even think about when you have black men, like, let's take Nasir Jones. Let's take Nas, the rapper, the legend. Nas has been investing. Queens get money. Say that, just like his song on the Untitled Nigga album. Now, Nigga album. But anywho... Khalees comes out of nowhere talking about all these abuse cases when Nas was getting, what, about $40 million for his deal for investing in Amazon? Like, what kind of shit is that? 
And the unfortunate thing is you hear so many black women say that they are always on black men's side, but your actions are so contrary to your words. Your actions don't match up with the words. I mean, shit. That, I mean, why do you think... This is just ridiculous, man. That's why I don't even fuck with... I never fuck the coolies. Like, I knew that was not a woman for Nas. Hell, Nas was better off dating somebody like Nicki Minaj, truth be told. But even then, it's like, ugh. Anywho. Like, it goes back to what I said. There's no unity. There's no loyalty. Like, you can't even just have a fallout respectfully, unfortunately, as black people. We just don't do that. It's just too much being spiteful and being petty. Nas is winning. Nas is, Nas is getting his money. Nas is doing his thing. And Nas apparently coming out with an album produced by Kanye. But now, suddenly, y'all, like, when, he, when Nas is getting money, I mean, even my brother is in a circumstance like this with child support, you know? And the mother of his child is trying to do the same thing because he makes up a good sum of money. You know, but what I really just want to talk about is the fact that we're at war with ourselves. I was just going on a tangent, excuse me, but we're at war with ourselves. Just like Kanye said on Jesus Walks in the intro of that song, we really are. <sighs> Nobody wants to look at themselves objectively because if they looked at themselves objectively, they know that they're going to see an ugly ass creature in the mirror. They're going to get too overwhelmed, you know? So I say to myself that when it comes to us as black and melanated people, we really need to do some deep ass research. We really need to recognize that even we played a part in our own downfall with the Moors, with the lack of unification in these African tribes that went on and all these warfare, which is why it was easy for white people to invade and then you had Jews like the whole nine yard but I don't got too much to say about it I just want to speak about my piece about slavery being a choice and all and I said it peace out actually there is something I want to say real quick see with black women you're it's fine that you make the choices that you make if you want to align yourself with these these feminists fine if you want to have, if you want to engage in interracial dating like Eve, if you want to be like Crystal and Karazine and Issa Rae and start some sort of emissary where you don't, where you deal more with interracial dating, fine. If, if that's the choice you want to make, so be it by all means. But all that insecure, pun intended, shit that you all are pulling you're not doing anything for the children. So if you want to cripple the black community because there are internal problems that we have to face within ourselves, both black men and black women, but I'm talking about black women right now. If you don't want to do it, deal with any shadow boxing, then you have to make sure that you go on the other side of the fence. You can't, you can't want to portray your community and then expect to have a grand return when things don't pan out. I'm fine with the choices that people make in their life, but people have to be decisive about their choices. You cannot play the victim and you cannot act like you were in a situation where you had absolutely no choice. Perhaps the choice that you had was very difficult, but ultimately you had a choice to remain in that position. Going back to what I said about Kanye's statement about the whole slavery being a choice. That's what it all boils down to, you know? So, that's what I say to black women who exude that type of mentality. When you look out for your own survival and you don't want to deal with any parenting, you you don't want to 
you're not serious about having a family because you're living for the moment and not thinking of a future because of you procreating with men who don't have your best interest, you know don't have your best interest, and you're just looking for momentary pleasure, you have to keep all these things in mind, you know? Because you can't have, expect people to have empathy for you and then you join all these programs, the public housings, and you know, you do you get involved in with child support? Like, no. Man, let me just stop because I'm I'll just be regurgitating shit.